What's up, guys? What is going on? Welcome back to the Carolina Lip Rippers today. We're out here at Buckhorn Reservoir. We have a uh, we got a cold front just came through, and the air temperature is real low. It's like uh, it's like in the 40s, 47 degrees right now, and it's real cool. We've been dealing right now is like the spawn to post spawn phase of things so i don't know exactly how this air temperature is going to change everything up or if i'll catch any fish at all but if you're seeing this video it means i caught a few fish so stay tuned Whew. that was a cold ride but we made it to spot number one check this place out here we go caught a nice few bunch of fish out of this spot before we'll see where they're at um water temperature is not showing up on a second 63 degrees is what it's saying so it has definitely dropped quite a bit because last time i was out here it was in the 70s so we'll see how that affects them i don't know we might have to change it up find somewhere else to fish so here we go Let's see if they'll hit this frog this morning. Very doubtful. This spot here is incidentally where I caught that personal best six pound bass a couple weeks back. Sure would be nice catching the day, being as this is a big bass derby. here no right at the boat there's just a little one oh well at least we know they're here well, i was really hoping that they'd be onto this swim bait but they don't seem to be wanting it we cast it out a couple more times and see There we go. Damn it. Hit it right at the boat. Maybe I need to back up a little bit. That was a two pounder though. Oh, fish number one. Still got a little belly on her. Not even two pounds. All right, so we're one fish in. Not a very big one. Just a little over a pound and a half. So we'll have to do better than that, but at least we found something. Two bites in under 30 minutes. The first one got off, but... There's more here.
there's more here i see them all over here there's a big ball of bait back over here with a bunch of bass i might throw that rattle trap through that in a minute all right i'm gonna leave this area because i saw that bait over there right in this area here what i want to do is toss that rattle trap over there and see if uh if they'll get on this because this might be a little faster than worm fishing if they'll come after this thing give it five casts if I don't get anything I'm gonna just assume this is no good oh. there we go baby oh god that's what I hate about these damn treble hooks Well, it works. This rattle trap is not my favorite way to catch them. Not a big fan of the treble hooks. For that very reason of what you just saw. They seem to come off. I'm at the mercy of luck on how they got hooked. I got no control. Bigger one. Let's see what this one goes for. Two pounds, four ounce. We'll need to do bigger than that, but that's the biggest we got so far. Thank you. All right, guys, I think we're gonna let this one rest for a little while. But let me, before I leave, let me explain to you what I've got here. Where it makes a lot of sense. Uh, basically this is a uh, rock ledge right here as you can see right outside of this cove and uh, the wind's blowing into it it drops off to about 10 feet rather quickly and uh, that's why I've been catching them on just this uh, wind blown rock, rock uh, ledge rock point fish are here What I'm gonna try to do is go find something like it out here. Let this rest. Uh, buddy of mine texted me and said he was catching them back there and still in the spawning area. Oh yeah. another one off this point before we go might make another loop on it before I leave here it's just a good spot okay. 
pound and a half fish. over here. One pound up. How much? Six? Yeah, about six, six and a half. Damn. There's a couple on the bed over there. They, they won't eat. A hollow body frog, huh? No shit. Yeah, I'm the same way. I don't. I caught one six pounds a couple weeks out of here, but I've caught four today, total. I have got two. One about four, four and a half, and then that one about six. Y'all been fishing shallow all day? I'm gonna go over it. Yeah, I got swim bait tied on. I got a uh, fluke too. I've been watching them. They're chasing bait pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, 60, about 65 degrees. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I'm gonna see if I get my big ass boat back here. I'll probably beach myself, but I'm gonna tie my damn frog back on. Go around the corner here. I'm gonna let this spot rest because I know another spot kind of like it. That was my own damn fault. fish right there. Yes. I don't think it's going to weigh enough. Probably won't even make two pounds. Ah. Right, that's fish number five for me. Alright guys, that's it for the video today. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It was a rough day and uh, the bass were kind of as expected this morning. 
up there on the uh, the rock banks and stuff, wind blown rock banks, and I was able to catch a few there. And uh, what surprised me is those bedding bass. I didn't uh, did not anticipate seeing those, and those were the big ones. Those are the ones I was after. Fortunately, I did not win the big bass derby. Didn't expect to with a two pound four ounce fish, but I did see a lot of bass. And uh, I think that the guys that were there before, they said that they'd spent like I don't know an hour and a half, two hours fishing that one spot. And here I come behind them, trying to fish it, trying to catch their fish. So uh, it didn't work. Anyways, um, saw some big ones though. But going to the other side, had I stayed, I thought about staying a little longer and going back out there. I'm pretty sure I could have caught more fish because you saw right there at the end, I caught that one on uh, on the frog. And I probably missed the winner on the frog. That was totally my fault. Setting the hook a little too early. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button for me, please. You guys subscribe, help the channel out, like the video, put a comment on it, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next time.